my name is Bashar Asal. Uh, my brand is under my name. Uh, uh, Tell us what it feels like to be nominated. I mean, it is a huge thing, yeah. right? Uh, well, my prize is obviously one of the best things that ever happened to me. Uh, just being here and being nominated is, is good enough. And I, I enjoyed working on it. Apart from the nomination, uh, I got introduced to Mood more, and now I know way more about it than I'm getting. Uh, it's kind of changed the perspective of the brand when it comes to fabrics and materials, which is, which is the greatest thing about this competition. You know, Bashar, I was just reading the tabloid today, like, you know, the prize, you guys get a cash prize, plus, you know, etc., etc., but nothing beats the recognition. I mean, the recognition that you guys get, what does that mean to you, like, being on the international scale? It really, really uh, changed. The brand suddenly jumped up in the notch when, uh, when I was nominated. Because uh, once you get international, obviously recognition in your country and in the Middle East is amazing, but uh, international recognition is, is, is puts you on the map, which is great for me and for my brand. And my last question, you know, there's designers and then there's designers. What is your advice to emerging designers who want to make it? There's so much competition. Uh, I, I guess there's a lot of competition, it's true, but uh, but there's not a lot of, yet, there's not a lot of competition in the Middle East for ready-to-wear brands and for uh, for minimalistic design, which is, uh, and I guess my mentor uh, used to tell me, stay true to your identity when you design, and I guess that's, that's the most important thing. You can, uh, you can get uh, your message out there if you believe in your message, so I guess that's it. Thank you so much, thank you.